today we're going to be doing another android radio this one actually has something that a lot of you guys will simply love and it has to do with the price you get it with the amazon prime it is a plug and play type of radio it works for any camry from 2007 all the way up to 2011 basically a plug and play type of scenario here and this one comes with wireless carplay wired android auto it has android 10.1 it has a 1024 by 600 resolution on the screen it is a nine inch and check this out it comes with a reverse camera included this is one of the best deals that i've ever seen so anyways the packaging well, it is not the best. It comes in a small box. I did get it with the Amazon Prime service. So the first things that we get in here, it's like a little quick start guide. Uh, keep in mind that if your Camry from 2007 to 2011 comes equipped with JBL, you can still install this, but you need an extra harness with uh, what they called a CAN bus. Uh, system on it so you have to uh, just check and see if the doors on your Camry has the little JBL logo for the speakers and whatnot if it does then you know that you will automatically need uh, extra harnesses so this is the harness that will connect to the radio right here and this is the one that gets connected to the car uh, this radio also supports uh, steering wheel controls we get this harness for uh, accessories including here the a microphone as well okay it comes included with it here in this package uh, we get the GPS antenna and some USB uh, ports as well as you guys can observe right here and one of these harnesses is also for the rear view camera which is this one here so it comes with about three harnesses inside of that bag uh, on here we had the reverse camera that came included with it very cool we're gonna be looking at this later I might not show you how to install the rear view camera as there's uh, a lot of videos out there mainly I want to show you guys how this radio works also uh, keep in mind that I did already work on a 2010 uh, Toyota Camry a couple of years back it comes with microphones it comes with everything you need um, to have uh, a pretty decent system and what I'm excited about is that even though this is not an OLED display like we have seen on the more expensive radios having a uh, 1024 by 600 resolution on a car radio that's actually quite high that's almost 720p so that's not bad at all check this out guys this is the unit right here we have 50 times 4 uh, wattage here for the uh, speaker so that's quite average and on the front uh, we can already see the uh, display right here we have the home key the menu key the back key the volume rockers we also get a built-in microphone and a reset button so it is quite standard for uh, Chinese radios I'm gonna leave this film on for when I am installing it so that we don't get any scratches on the screen so we can see here that the bezel is for the Camry so it fits right on this is supposed to be a plug-and-play on the back we have the main harness connector with the accessory harnesses uh, connections right here the FM antenna we have the GPS antenna and that's about it guys so without further ado let's jump to the car install this baby and give you guys my overall thoughts about it here we go well here we have the Toyota Camry uh, ready to go uh, this is a pretty clean car it doesn't look that bad I mean I got it at nighttime so I didn't really get a good look at it uh, but the car uh, seems to be in, you know in good shape with the exception here of the uh, dashboard uh, by the way I got my buddy here helping me out with the disassembly of the uh, trunk so that we can get that rear view camera hooked up into it and uh, I'm here enjoying my coffee um, it's quite good I love coffee so if we look here on the inside of the car we can see that uh, we do have a broken windshield yeah the car has been previously messed around with and I can tell they uh, they were kind of rough with it a little bit but other than that everything else is in good shape uh, like I said the car is pretty clean uh, for this installation as typical you guys will obviously need your uh, hardware you're gonna need some tools like the pry opening tools I have an electric screwdriver 
with different uh, bits as well okay so it's great to have these you're gonna need also a drill uh, an impact drill if you have one if not you can just use a regular socket and you're gonna need an extension with a 10 millimeter um, socket as well and that's pretty much it uh, as far as I can remember from the previous uh, disassembly uh, first we had to take out uh, these two uh, pieces right here and then you're gonna remove two Phillips screws uh, after that you're gonna remove this piece in which we can do actually right now all you have to do is just uh, twist it and it comes right off so that we can remove this middle console area and that's it you're gonna set that, that aside uh, for these side pieces you're gonna have to remove that tape anyways okay it is missing a piece I can see why they had that tape on there so yeah it came out like this I'm just gonna keep that in handy somewhere let's put all the pieces on the back now we're gonna take out the other piece which is here let's put that on the back as well now like I said we removed these two uh, Phillips screws uh, before we get to that we have to remove this center piece and it comes up quite easily let's put the keys over here I don't want to spill my coffee let's leave it up here so this piece comes right off and there you go we don't have to shift the car uh, that's cool okay now all we do is simply take this out of here remove this wire this harness for the uh, cigarette lighter and there's a they have like an FM it looks like like an FM uh, Bluetooth type of deal here so that they could connect via Bluetooth to the radio now on this part I think we had to ship the car we're gonna have to do that let's see there we go okay let's turn off that radio now let's go ahead and unplug these two and after that you can put it back on park remove the key now we have to remove um, this upper vent okay for this you will need a pry opening tool like this one here let's go from the sides and this one I can tell it's been messed with before because it came off very very easily and then just try our best to put that back together later and now up here as you guys can observe we had the two uh, 10 millimeter uh, bolts that I mentioned before we have two on the top and two right underneath down here you can't miss it you're gonna see a total of four just take those out that's it we got the four out now I believe you can just pull out the radio let's take out the uh, we have one that is the XM uh, antenna we have one for the FM antenna and here we have the three harnesses for steering wheel controls and we have the main harness for the speakers and so on and so forth and then we have the AC controls harness as well that we need to remove and boom we got the radio fully out as you guys can tell and now we are here in the process of removing the old radio from the AC controls all you have to do is remove these three eight millimeter uh, bolts they also work with uh, a uh, Phillips screwdriver but they are sometimes so tight that you run the risk of stripping it so I would just recommend using the socket so there we go we just removed all six screws and this with a little bit of patience should come right off so we got the AC controls out of the uh, radio unit the old one and if you guys look here I did remove the uh, left side bracket the reason for that is because the um, the AC controls they need to slide out if you look here you can see what I mean these two pieces connect right here on the top and so the way you do it is that you connect them right here like this and then you slide it like so so in order to get it properly done you have to kind of like play here with this bracket 
and boom there we go we got it now on this bracket itself you only have the holes to connect one screw instead of two as i mentioned before but one screw is more than sufficient this radio uh, is super lightweight so what we're going to do here is just put one screw so we have one for this side here you guys can see that and so now we do the same here for the other side and boom we got it so now it is time uh, to do the uh, GPS antenna which I already did it I actually went underneath the dash right here with a double adhesive I ran the wire right here and now we have pretty much everything we need we have the FM antenna we have the GPS connection uh, also for the USB with the data so that you can get wired uh, Android Auto and wired CarPlay but I found the single USB port you don't have to use the one with the double uh, some units they use it with the double some of them they use it with a single in this particular case I was able to do it with a single and now what I'm going to do to run this wire through is that I'm going to make a hole here on this compartment I'm gonna make a hole just about this area here so that I can run the USB so that it goes in here it'll come out from the top and it'll be hanging around here so that way they can plug in the USB cable for the iPhone and get wired CarPlay or wired Android Auto well we got all the wires connected here on the back side of the radio as you guys can observe we have the main harness connection we have the USB the single one we have the reverse camera the FM antenna then we get here the uh, GPS antenna which is all hooked up and we have the reverse camera now the reverse camera this is for the video but it comes with uh, on the harness it comes with this wire that says back and that means reverse camera it's like a light brown color you have to attach this to the red wire that comes out of the uh, back side of the car this is the wire that we ran all the way to the back it has a red wire that's basically a signal wire so that every time you put the car in reverse and the light comes on it sends a signal to the radio so that the radio can go into reverse camera mode and that's it so everything has been hooked up i tested the fm radio i tested everything is working well now it is time for reassembly i also got the harness here don't forget the harness for the ac controls to connect that back again on there and now we simply just look at the wires look at everything that doesn't get uh pinched and we have here the reverse camera wires and such let's make sure that these don't get tangled up and we put everything back on here like so and we do have some clips here towards the bottom side and that's it let's uh, get this wire out like I said make sure nothing gets pinched so for this what I call the copy hole what I did is that I drilled right here a one inch hole so that way we can get that USB cable around it. There we go. We got one. And we got the other one right here. Boom. Now here for this compartment, as I said earlier, you have to drill if you want to uh, run this through. This is the USB cable so that we can get wired CarPlay and wired Android Auto. For Android Auto, you don't have an option. This radio doesn't support wireless Android Auto, so you have to have this connected. Now we run this through. As you guys can see, I reconnected the auxiliary port and the cigarette lighter or the 12 volt charger, whatever you want to call it. And now I will put the car on drive so that it makes it a little bit easier to run this through. And right there check that out guys it came out to be beautiful perfect the radio has been completely assembled the entire thing came out to be great with the exception of those damages that we had there previously uh, the reverse camera I ran it through the passenger side of the vehicle 
and it is recommended so that you can hide that reverse camera wire a lot easier then you remove these plastics you run the wire through the side here now for this one you don't have to remove it all you have to do is with your fingers just push the wire through and we remove this plastic as well now for this part of the seat if you remove this there is a 12 millimeter bolt holding this in place all you have to do is remove it lift it and that will allow for you to run the wire through which is what i did and it came out this area here i don't know if you guys can see i came down here hit it right behind this material and it comes out right here and i sit tight it to the um, hinges here for the trunk i went here and this is the reverse bulb the uh, negative will be um, or the positive is the red with black here on this uh, connection for the reverse light the ground will be the white and black I had to remove this piece of trim which is held by 10 millimeter uh, bolts or nuts excuse me you have one two three four five so total of five and then you have some clips in which you can push with some pliers and this whole piece comes right off uh, i drilled a hole so that i could run the wire for this and that's it guys now all we have to do here is simply reinstall this cover in which goes on like this so now let's go to the radio test it out and complete the review part of the video it comes with a reverse camera you get the microphone with it it comes with the gps antenna you get all the harnesses that just plug in place here with this particular vehicle keep in mind that this works for the camrys from 2007 all the way up to 2011. now here in the usa the camrys are super popular so i know that a lot of people can take advantage of this and it is just so much better obviously than the factory radio just look at this massive display with a resolution of 1024 by 600 which is a pretty decent resolution considering that you are away from the radio you know it's not like you're viewing a cell phone or a tablet where you have it a lot closer to you uh, viewing this at about this distance right now is perfect it looks fabulous i'm telling you guys this is amazing you do get it a little bit cheaper uh, so we had things here like navigation and for navigation it says uh, i think it's called go here or here we go something like that but it does need internet service in order for it to work uh, we are getting a good reception with the gps we're going to see that here in just a second uh, the next one we have is radio the reception is working great let's go ahead and show you here it sounds amazing you guys can hear that and the cool part is that you don't need a fm antenna adapter for this car it is just a plug and play what you are losing is the xm radio just keep that in mind uh, the next one we have is settings and on settings we have here device port uh, this is to give you information on the ports of the radio i don't know why we need that but they are there we have system information as i said before it comes with android 10.1 and the rest of the information is here we get two gigabytes of ram 32 gigabytes of internal storage it has the all winner a7 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor the resolution of the display 1024 by 600 the mcus the 4.0 uh, for factory settings in which i will recommend not to touch this unless you know what you're doing it is 48 so 8888 eight, eight, eight. then press ok and it takes you right there all of that information is provided right here on the manuals that came um, with the radio so uh, that's very cool uh, gps detection this is what i wanted to show you guys that's the reception that we are getting right now i did install the antenna right underneath this area here so we are getting pretty strong reception right now and that's great now check this out we are getting a working uh, steering wheel control so if i go here you can see that it works that's volume up volume down you have uh, these i set them up to uh, skip music so as you guys can see all you have to do is uh, select the option and then you press the button that you want 
that to be. So in this particular case, this will be skip forward. This is gonna be a skip backwards, okay, which is really cool. Uh, we have things like GPS. If I had more buttons on here, I will set them up. We got mode. For mode, I just set up mode right here. And that's pretty much all I did. So we can increase, decrease the volume, skip the music, go back. And then we have mode on here as well. In which mode would just take you back into the home screen, as you guys can observe. And now we have here what you guys really want to see is that CarPlay. So it is called Z-Link. When you open that right here, let me unplug the phone. So right there, it is unplugged. It'll disconnect here in just a second. Now it says waiting. So if I just simply plug it in, you guys will see how it works. Now you can see it says connecting and boom, we are on settings. Check that out. This is the best method to have it plugged in because there's hardly any lags on here, which is great. And of course we had then the uh, Bluetooth side of it so if we go here into settings we go into bluetooth now i decided not to do this yet i want to do it for the first time here with you guys so we just wait here until we can see the bluetooth and car bluetooth i believe is this one here let's click on it let's put zero 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 let's pair to it and that's the one as you guys can see i am connected and now it went automatically to Z-Link, it says connecting, and in no time, you guys will see how we have a working CarPlay wirelessly. But if you saw that right there, there was a little bit of a lag. When I move the pages, you can see that it lags way more than when you have it plugged in. So my recommendation is to have it plugged in, but if you don't want to do that and you feel like doing it this way, it's fine as well. Let's go here into music. Let's go into last uh, played and let's see i have here kid songs i have people use my account all the time so let's say we play this one here okay everything is working perfect guys the power key this is a mute button as well we have the home key like i said the back key and over here you have the task killer key as i mentioned and that works awesome as well this is absolutely amazing. Everything plugs in place. It fits very well, as you guys can observe. I have zero complaints about this radio. There's nothing I really want to change. We get reverse camera, as I said before. You get Bluetooth, wireless CarPlay, wire CarPlay, and Android Auto as well.